I brought a, a simple plant, so it could actually be any plant. Because basically throughout everything I've done in my life, the plant is the central thing, you know. So I, my basic research when I started as a PhD student was about plants, my postdoc was about plants. In the startup company, I'm working on improving plants, on making crops grow better. Feels like my whole, you know, life evolves around plants. So for me, it was pretty obvious that I wanted to study biology and very early on, um, you know, I was, I was very, you know, passionate about uh, the plant biology courses. Yeah, I started my master thesis. For me, that was, you know, such a good experience, you know, and I had the opportunity to stay in the lab. And then I still had, I think, one year of what they call a postdoc, postdoc mandate here at the KU Leuven. But then I saw this uh, job opening at the VIB U Ghent. So I was, you know, a bit uncertain about whether I would be a, a good candidate. Looking back now, of course, that, well, was, yeah, naive, but of course, yeah, that's, uh, that's the steps you need to go through, but yeah, happy that somebody pushed me to send in my uh, yeah send in my CV <laughs> for that position, because then in a few days it was arranged. At a certain point, I started talking to another professor, and she was looking for uh, somebody, so a postdoc, to write a technology transfer project. So at VIB, they have these uh, tech transfer grants that they. Um, yeah, where they want to kind of build proof of concept for technologies that they can then develop into um, spin-offs. I felt like it was really something I could relate to, eh? because it was 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 something something really interesting. Then we wrote a grant and 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 we got the money to fund me, and then I had a few years to build the proof of concept, and then and then that was used to actually. Um, uh, yeah, to found the company or found the startup um, some years later then. An external person from industry um, started working um, to make the business case. So together then the business case was developed and then um, uh, people, uh, then they started looking for, uh, for investors uh, yeah, to found the company. At a certain moment everything came together, all the money was there and then uh, the company started and that's now four years ago. Now there's a company with almost 40 people so you know. I was mainly um, responsible as a scientist, so I was not really involved in getting the money or, or, you know, or making the business plan, but just providing all the scientific data, building the, the scientific case. When we started, I was involved in setting up the company, you know, organizing the labs, um, you know, because in the beginning we were just with four people, so then we had to organize everything. So that was a really, a really cool period and, and just getting everything going. And also now I'm focusing mainly on discovery and development of products. The name of the company is Afea Bio. We are developing what we call biologicals, agricultural biologicals, and that can basically replace partially, um, you know, fertilizers, pesticides. Um, it's basically to make our agriculture more sustainable. The nice thing about working in, 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 in a spin-off is that, that actually it's, it's still very science-based, eh? so, so we do a lot of discovery. You actually want to bring things to the market, so you're really looking for things that can help farmers, for example, or, you know, that can help agriculture. Um, so I think the link between the basic science and that trying to, you know, make that into product is for me really, that's really exciting, you know. What is the big difference from when you work uh, more in the fundamental science, you know, you just discover, you publish and, you know, yeah, that's it. And in our company, it's very different. Right? You do discovery and then you try to, you know, really bring that discovery to the next level. So as a fundamental scientist, you're often on your own. Okay, you have a lab, but you do the research yourself. Um, in the company now, I'm not an expert, but you know, I'm surrounded by experts. The teamwork is really, really something that, that, that I like a lot. When working in a team with a lot of experts, most of them are also scientists. So some of them are, you know, scientists tend to be stubborn. So I think you really need a lot of social skills, like, you know, good leadership, good communication, uh, all these type of things is actually something you don't learn when you're doing a PhD. You, you don't need the, the, the knowledge, but you also need social skills to bring people together, to, to make them work together. So that is, I think, something, you know, really important that I've learned over the last four years.
In the, the first years I was still more, um, you know, also doing practical stuff, but now I'm mainly just, you know, organizing, communicate with uh, my management, like uh, about where we are, what the timelines are. Um, yeah, it's a lot of meetings to discuss specific topics, milestones. Um, yeah, I do also a lot of, of data analysis uh, when things are coming from the field looking at the results um, yeah it's it's uh, a lot of computer work nowadays but but mainly looking into planning project project management um, discussing the results um, developing strategies uh, to further develop uh, our discoveries so yeah it's a lot of uh, actually project management is, is is the main bulk of my of my of my task Although I like to manage a group of people, I like to manage a project. For now, I would like to stay close to discovery and, and, and yeah, I feel that that is still my passion. So in my experience, I'm, I'm not the best skilled networker or I'm not the best person, you know, to interact with on a conference, you know, to talk to anyone, everyone. And you have these people who are very skilled at that, but at least in my experience, all the changes in my career came by talking to people and by meeting people. So that's actually, I think, the most important thing is that you, you keep your mind open, try to talk to people and ask for advice from people.